Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out the Radio Masters Nomad, the next evolution in ELRS radio frequency design. It is a dual 1 watt Gemini crossband ELRS external bay module. Now it is equipped with dual or two and hence the name Gemini, third generation Santec LR1121 transceivers for both 2.4 gigahertz and 868-915 megahertz frequencies using the advanced Gemini crossband protocol technology. So what it does is it sends packets on both bands simultaneously. So it is like diversity, but on steroids. Now the maximum packet rate is 500 Hertz at the moment, but with support for 1000 Hertz coming to ELRS 3.5. Now the minimum refresh rate is 50 Hertz and the RF output power is 1000 milliwatts times two. So we have an external module for the JR module bay here with two RPSMA female antenna ports, and it will come with two RPSMA dual band, 2.4 gigahertz and 900 megahertz, 90 degree rubber ducky antennas. Now, mine came with the JR module bay adapter pre-attached via a couple of screws, and it did not come with the nano module bay adapter, but the final production product that is available to order right now will come with it so you can attach it to transmitters with either the JR module bay or the nano module bay. It has Wi-Fi support as well as Bluetooth support so you can update to the latest ELRS firmware and bind with your ELRS receivers via Wi-Fi and Play your favorite flight simulator via Bluetooth. Now the housing is made out of aluminum and it has lots of ventilation cutouts. So it's kind of like a built-in heat sink and a built-in fan for the dual one watt transceivers. It has an XT30 input port with a range of six volt DC to 16.8 volt DC. So it can be externally powered with a 2S battery up to a 4S battery. So you don't drain out your transmitter battery and a USB-C port as well. And it has a built-in status LED RGB light strip. Now the light strip looks and feels like a functioning button, but it does not say anything about it being a functioning button. So, so far it is just a light strip. So you get the frequency bands of the 2.4 gigahertz, like this Ranger ELRS external module, plus the frequency bands of the 868, 915 megahertz, like this Bandit ELRS external module. And there are new packet rates available as well. The sub gigahertz, 250 hertz for speed boost. The sub gigahertz, 200 hertz, full resolution mode optimized for Mavlink, the dual band X150 Hertz for the Gemini mode, the dual band X100 Hertz full resolution mode for enhanced Gemini mode, and in ELRS 3.5, they will introduce the K modes, the DK500 and the K1000 full resolution sub gigahertz modes. That means you get 1000 Hertz in the 868, 915 megahertz domain. So you can use this new Nomad ELRS external module with the 2.4 gigahertz ELRS receivers that you may already have installed on your FPV quads, wings, planes, and RC cars. And you can also use it for the 868, 915 megahertz receivers like the BR1 and the BR3 receivers that you may already have installed in your stuff as well. 
but it will still be limited to just one of these frequencies if you use one of the single band receivers. So when you go into the ELRS LUA script on your transmitter, you will have choices. You now have the antenna mode because you can now choose Gemini, antenna one, antenna two, or switch. So you should set it to either the antenna one, antenna two, or the switch mode if you are using one of these single band receivers. If you set it to the Gemini mode, it will only get the signal from one of the TX transceivers and the other TX transceiver will be just noise on these single band receivers. Now, there will be other devices category if you have a dual band receiver connected. And in the RX mode, you can choose Diversity or Gemini. So choose Gemini to take advantage of the 2.4 gigahertz and the 868-915 megahertz simultaneously. But if you want to use the Gemini modes, you will need to have a dual band receiver like this RadioMaster DBR4 dual band Gemini receiver, which simultaneously receives 2.4 gigahertz and 868-915 megahertz frequency signals. Now the input voltage on these are 4.5 volt to 8.0 volts. Size is 27.2 by 27.2 millimeters. And it weighs in at 5.3 grams with the antennas. And of course they use Crossfire bus interface. And we have four antennas, two for each Semtech LR1121RF chip, just like the module. It has 500 Hertz refresh rate and with ELRS 3.5 coming soon, it will have 1000 Hertz refresh rate. The maximum telemetry RF power is 100 milliwatts times two. So if you are like me and you are more than satisfied with just the 2.4 gigahertz ELRS protocol technology, that is fine. But if you weren't and have switched to the low bandwidth of the 868 915 megahertz for the higher penetrating and farther reaching protocol systems and you wish to have something even better, well now you can switch to the Gemini technology and maintain a stronger link in areas with lots of RF noise. Perfect for freestylers, racers, and distance flyers. So if you are using ELRS in your setup, integrating Gemini can provide huge improvements in connectivity, reliability, and performance. And because it is an ELRS component, the Gemini protocol system will benefit from ongoing development and firmware updates. So check it out for yourself. The link is down below. So that'll do it for this video of the Radio Masters Nomad, the dual band Gemini crossband ELRS external module, and the DBR4, the dual band Gemini receiver. So I thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.